it is time to get used to the word super being casually added to all sorts of cars. After all, in 2021, it is hard to impress anyone with 400 horsepower, the figure that was once considered the pinnacle of supercar performance. In this episode, we'll review the newest sports sedans that set even higher standards by doubling the outputs, getting out of 4 seconds when speeding to 60, reaching 200 mph top speeds, and by simply looking menacingly beautiful. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to always stay informed about the new car lineups and enjoy the ride! Cadillac CT5 V Blackwing The new Blackwing moniker appeals to Cadillac's seven-year-long racing history and turns the performance-oriented CT5 V midsize into a true track beast. The model sits on a strength and chassis with magnetic ride control 4.0 and improved suspension with stiffer springs. There is also an electronic limited slip rear differential that has been reworked to reduce mass. The sedan is powered by the 6.2-liter V8 engine that is aided by the 1.7-liter Eaton supercharger. It peaks at 668 horses and 659 pound-feet, making this Blackwing the most powerful Cadillac ever made. As standard, the car gets the traditional 6-speed manual gearbox from Tramac, but there is also a 10-speed automatic as an option. Last thing we should mention is the braking system that combines Brembo brake calipers with the largest factory installed rotors by the brand. BMW M5 CS After successful runs of the lightweight modifications of the M2, M3 and M4, Germans are finally unleashing the CS version of their flagship sports sedan. Available for a single 2022 model here, the Ultimate M5 will be 150 pounds lighter than the M5 competition, all thanks to the extensive use of carbon fiber in the bodywork. Namely, the composite was used to fabricate the hood, front splitter, rear spoiler, mirror caps, and all four seats. The 4.4 liter V8 with 635 horsepower and 553 pound feet of torque becomes the most powerful engine in the history of the M sub brand. Working together with an 8-speed automatic transmission, it ensures 0-60 to 60 time of just 3 seconds and 190 mph VMAX. This beast is underpinned by 20-inch M-forged wheels wearing Pirelli P0 courses. Carbon ceramic brakes are kit and the suspension was tuned to cope with the extra power. The last Audi to be driven by Tony Stark in the Avengers Endgame and the first ever non-SUV electric vehicle by the brand has finally made its production debut. Keeping the original design of the 2018 concept, it sources the Porsche Taycan powertrain, though with the e-tron-specific output numbers. For now, the four-door Grand Tour is offered in the e-tron GT Quattro and RS e-tron GT Crate, good for 476 and 588 horsepower. Moreover, the launch control function can boost the peak motor yield by around 50 ponies, resulting in 4.1 or 3.3 seconds 0 to 60 sprints. The e-tron GT package includes laser beam LED headlights, Audi Drive Select, all-wheel steering, control damping, three-chamber air suspension, electric all-wheel drive, and the rear axle differential lock. The 800V battery architecture supports ultra-fast recharging at 270 kW and the 85 kilowatt hour capacity is sufficient to cover 304 WLTP miles. Mercedes-AMG E63S Carefully described as a minor facelift, the new top dock of the E-Class focuses the changes on the improved aesthetics of the exterior styling and new driver's cockpit. The major attention grabber is the shark nose with a 12 vertical slats design larger Mercedes emblem and bigger air intakes. There are all new LED headlights and taillights, a restyled rear diffuser and aerodynamic 20 inches. The handcrafted AMG 4 liter V8 by Turbo still yields 603 horsepower and is controlled via an AMG Speed Shift 9 speed automatic. The formatic all wheel drive is standard. There are multiple dynamic select driving modes with a special drift setting that routes all of the power to the rear. Plus, the suspension was made more comfortable. 
The E63 S cabin adopts the latest MBUX interface with the AMG Super Sport screen, adds a new steering wheel with larger pedal shifters, and gets intuitive voice control. If you are a fan of Super Sedans, do not proceed without liking this video. Your feedback motivates us to keep going. Thank you and let's proceed. Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA Planned for a limited production run of 500 units, this 2021 version of the sedan revives the iconic 1965 moniker and brings to the table more power than any other Giulia before it. Based on the top-of-the-line Quadrifoglio model, the GTA is motivated by a 2.9-liter V6 by turbo engine that is boosted to 540 horses instead of the previous 510. The car wears new carbon fiber bodywork, gets an aero kit from Zauber Engineering, and rides on 20-inch central lock wheels. It also has two modifications, a 4-seat GTA for daily driving and a race-oriented 2-seat GTA M that still can be operated on public roads. The latter is distinguished by a larger carbon rear wing, a rear roll bar, and sport seats with six-point safety belts. Lucid Air Dream Edition No other electric sedan comes as close to disturbing the dominion of the Model S. You can tell that the arms race between these two is in the full swing by taking a look at the nearly identical technical specifications. Beating the previous expectations, Lucid has unveiled a 1080 horsepower dual motor all wheel drive powertrain with a 113 kWh battery that supports recharging at 900 volts. The projected performance figures stand at 503 miles range, over 200 miles per hour top speed, and under 2.5 seconds 0 to 60. The Air Dream Edition comes fully connected, factory equipped with a 32 sensor Dream Drive assistance package that can support automated driving up to level 3. Plus, it challenges other luxury sedans interior wise by offering a floating 34 inch glass cockpit, Lucid immersive audio system and a choice of three sustainable upholstery styles. Bentley Flying Spur V8 We all know that the flagship Flying Spurs are powered by the formidable 6-liter W12 engines. But in 2021, a more driver-centric experience is actually obtained from a lighter V8 modification of the model. The Porsche developed 4-liter 8-cylinder peaks at 550 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque and allows to slice off 200 pounds on the scales. Embraced in handcrafted luxury, you will reach 60 miles per hour in 4 seconds and will watch the speedometer arrow climb all the way up to 188 mph. As standard, this flagship Bentley is equipped with adaptive air suspension, drive dynamics control and torque vectoring by brake. Extra cash will positively affect maneuverability with all-wheel steering and the 48-volt active interrail technology. The fabled Bentley interior luxury is achieved through the masterful work of 141 craftsmen. There is an improved 12.3-inch rotating infotainment screen and Bank & Olufsen audio. Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Already regarded as the most powerful factory-built sedan on the market, the Charger ups its game once more, arriving in the flagship SRT Hellcat Red Eye iteration. Offered exclusively as a wide-body model, it comes powered by the fan-favorite 6.2-liter Hemi V8 that is now boosted by the larger 2.7-liter IHI Supercharger with a red line at 6500 rpm. The extra 90 ponies add up to the record-setting hertz of 797, plus the torque reaches 707 pound-feet. To handle such figures, the new Charger gets beefier torque converter axles and drive shaft, and rides on massive, lightweight carbon black wheels wrapped in Pirelli all-season performance tires. Additionally, the car is stopped by a set of Brembo ultra-high performance brakes with 6-piston front and 4-piston rear calipers. The Red Eye claims 0 to 60 acceleration of 3.5 seconds, while its top speed reaches 203 mph. Tesla Model S Plaid Plus Since Tesla is redefining the philosophy of car ownership and positions its cars as smart gadgets on wheels, 
do not expect revolutionary exterior changes as a part of the 2021 facelift. The hood is somewhat sleeker, lower part of the bumper is reshaped and headlights slightly tweaked. The true motivator to get a new Model S though is the Plaid and the Plaid Plus trims with tri-motor powertrain. By the time the CV is actually produced, Tesla might casually improve specifications even further, but for now, the pre-order configurator already contains bonkers numbers. The highest grade of the S has 520 miles of range and can put to the wheels 1100 horsepower, which translates to 200 mph top speed, under 1.99 seconds 0 to 60, and under 9 seconds quarter mile time. Moreover, it has new interior with a horizontal screen and a yoke style steering wheel. Maserati Ghibli and Quattro Porta Trofeo For the 2021 model year, Maserati extends its Trofeo treatment to the Ghibli and Quattro Porta sedans, which will share the same twin turbo 3.8 liter 8 cylinder with 580 horsepower and 538 pound feet of torque. The Ferrari sourced V8 will make this duo the fastest production sedans that Maserati has ever made, both capable of 203 miles per hour top speed and 0 to 60 times of 4.3 and 4.5 seconds respectively. The visual upgrades that set apart the new Trofeo family members from the rest include deeper front fascias, black front grills, new rear diffusers with quad outlet exhausts, and 21 inch aluminum wheels. Inside, both sedans have a larger 10.1 inch infotainment, quilted leather sport seats, and special patching. Cadillac CT4 V Blackwing In the CT5 CT4 Duo, the compact sedan always follows in the footsteps of its larger sibling. The upcoming 22 model here does not become an exception, since the model also gets a new Blackwing iteration based on the sporty CT4 V. Instead of a supercharged V8 mil, the model features a slightly less eager 3.6 liter V6 that, thanks to its twin turbocharging, tops out at 472 horsepower and 445 pound feet. According to Caddy, this should be enough to propel the car to 60 in 3.8 seconds and have the maximum speed of 189 miles per hour. It offers manual and automatic transmission options, comes equipped with a reworked suspension setup and rides on 18-inch alloy wheels with Brembo brakes and Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. How do you like the new roster of super sedans in 2021? Electric models seem to be the next best thing, don't they? Share your preferences in the comment section below, smash the like button and proceed your quest for knowledge by following the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!